for people that maybe aren't aware of what Clue is about and what it's like, so it's, it takes a place over the course of one evening at this mansion and all of these different people have been assembled. They've re all received a note and over the course of the evening, people come up missing, dead bodies show up, they all point fingers at each other. But it's, so it sounds like it's like really dark and scary and it's not, it is so funny and silly. It's basically just a, a big farce, a big slapstick comedy. I mean, there is some like of that whodunit kind of aspect to it, but really I think it's more about the comedy and how these characters, none of them are all that super intelligent. So I think that kind of leads to the comedy aspect of it as well. All right, we're listening, Professor. Who do you accuse? What? Colonel Mustard is allowed with a rat. <gasps> I never lounge. I chose Clue as this year's production because I've always been a fan of the movie. I love comedy and like slapstick, that type of thing, and this is the perfect play for that. I also was kind of thinking ahead to the spring musical because I knew that we were going to do a musical with a revolving stage, and we thought we would try to use that with this fall show as well. What a patriot. After all I've done for you. He's a liar. I, I'm one of you. I'm not a butler. I'm an indentured servant. I'm Bea Harbour and I play Wadsworth, the butler. If I had to say that I've prepared for it in any way, I've been watching the movie a lot, if I had to be honest. I'm picking up a lot of subtle characteristics of, like, what butlers might do, I guess, in the way to put it. <laughs> I've been working kind of hard on, like, a voice to give it, so it's kind of pompous and, like, more formal. And really listening to um, everybody else and trying to get the timing of the jokes. It's actually working out really well. Yeah, so how uh, productions are cast is that, you know, when people sign up to audition, they typically come in and read a scene from the show. Um, so I look at things like stage presence, volume, energy, uh, attitude, like, you know, people kind of reluctant or hesitant. You know, like, are they a team player? Do they have good work ethic? You know, all of those things really factor in. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of factors that go into it. Anyone want to make a guess of what are you in boxes? Perfume, candy. I'm asking about that. I'm Carissa Crawford and I am playing Mrs. Peacock. Um, I grew up playing the game Clue, like always my life that was the game to play with my family. I was always Mrs. Peacock because my sister Madeline would not let me be Miss Scarlet. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry Madeline. That was always my character and she was always Miss Scarlet. So when I got the part of Mrs. Peacock, I was like, this is a little creepy and a little scary. <laughs> but yeah, the story of Clue is really fun, it's really silly, and I'm pretty sure the audience is going to enjoy it. She fosters a very, like, I, I don't want to say friendly as in, like, amicable. I mean, friendly as in, like, she's your friend. It's a well-fostered community of people that are all just kind, and she's at the center of it. I'm Harrison. I'm playing Colonel Mustard. Uh, the main way I've been trying to prepare to be Mustard is voice and being able to be that larger-than-life type of character. I do my best. Like, I need to learn how to have a larger stage presence. Yeah, something I like about the show is you're somehow, like, getting smacked in the face while dipping your toe in. I don't know how else to describe it other than that. It's so simultaneously so in your face, but like, I don't want to say falls apart like in a bad way, but it falls apart. The comedy <laughs> just gets more and more extreme. It gets more outlandish. It is a really funny show. And there's not one moment where we're not just wanting to bring character laughing. It's such a great feeling. You should just be prepared to just lose yourself in it as we all are slowly losing our minds in this array of comedy and disaster. Just be prepared to just have the time of your life. I'm Ali Moat and I'm playing Miss Scarlet. Miss Scarlet is kind of this old Hollywood-esque vibe. I've watched a lot of older uh, classic Hollywood movies to see the way that women, how they portray themselves. I'm Natalie Allen, I play Yvette the French maid and I had to make sure the French accent was not you whack. I don't want to sound stupid on stage. Sometimes I do feel like I sound stupid on stage. But one of the things I did was I listened to a lot of French people like, talk English. So I could, you know, pick up on some of the, you know, the way they sound their vowels and the way TH is like a or a Z sound. And I also started learning French on Duolingo. So